Happy Soap on Channel 4. It's set in the Dams and Dean Hotel in the Lake District. We got to see what really goes on behind the scenes at the average English hotel, with manager Wayne Bartholomew having to cope with teaching his staff the simplest of things. Tucked away in the picturesque setting of the Lake District is the Dams and Dean. A typical three-star holiday hotel. My name is Mr. Keith. I'm Mr. Farmer, Mr. and Mrs. Farmer. It has a suave owner. I would say that we cater for Mondale Man. We cater for the ordinary visitor. And like any quintessentially English hotel, the staff are mainly from Eastern Europe. So Together, they cater for the great British public. We come here for a break. Bringing all their baggage with them. If you say that once more, like yeah. it's over. <laughs> Please welcome one of the dancing team, Wayne Bartholomew. Love it, Wayne. Thank you, thank you very much. So, thank you. how did the dancing team get chosen? Well, you know, we have quite a few um, characters uh, at the dancing team, and I think when we sent our application form through, um, something in it must have jumped out and uh, maybe it was me, maybe it was the dog, maybe it was Amos. Um, but we sent little clips in and, uh, and uh, they came round, loved what they seen and um, here we are. It's a rather small hotel, you've got 40 rooms and mm -hmm. how many cameras are around the hotel? Well there was about 55, 60 cameras based all over the hotel in guest bedrooms, also in my caravan, also in staff bedrooms. So um, there was nothing, uh, nowhere to hide. Oh, well, what's the rule about cameras in bedrooms? Do are they turned <laughs> off? Or can you can you control them? Well, you know, everybody was given a remote control, and what they wanted was, you know, you can um, turn the camera on when you're ready to be filmed, and turn it off when you when you're Sorry. ready to go to bed. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't given that luxury. I, they forgot to give me my remote control for some reason, but um, and I think some guests forgot to turn the camera off. Some guests didn't want to turn the camera off, so... Really? Yeah, but, mm. How exciting. You won't see those back in the city. I think there's a little bit of... Uh, there's a little bit of... And you, but, but that's what the show is about. That was, it's giving you that glimpse into, into people's lives. And what about the customers? Do they say, no, I don't want to be part of this. I Take that camera out of my room. I've come for a holiday. No. <laughs> well, they're all most, loving it. Most, most, of the, most of the customers uh, really were, were quite happy to be filmed, either as background or... Some people actually chose to tell their story um, on, on camera. Well, one of the most romantic good. stories we have is, uh, is a little proposal. Have a look at this. <laughs> Elizabeth? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to stand there. You can't stand there. You got to stand there. I've got to do the bit. I've got to do the proper bit. Come on. <laughs> you got to stand there. You got to stand there. Two seconds. Two seconds. I've got to go down on one knee. Hold on. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Elizabeth? <laughs> Will you marry me? Of course, yeah. Oh. Oh. I take it that was a yes then. Oh, that was you arriving with the champagne. Just on time. That call was popped on cue. Yeah. Oh, and so obviously you were all choreographed that. And the picture she was holding, that was Will You Marry Me, was it? That was Danny. He had in a light pen, he'd written Will You Marry Me and had his photograph taken with it and it was... It was a um, fantastic moment for them. But earlier on in the day, what you don't see was I was speaking to um, Liz and asked her, you know, was she here for a romantic weekend? And, and she said, you know, we've been together a long time now and love not even a ring. And she had no idea what was about to happen you that did. night. And I did. Uh, uh -huh. so, so the guests can be fun and fantastic. Sure. Staff, on the other hand, mm -hmm. can be complicated if English isn't their for sure. first language. For sure. Have a look at this. Now, yesterday, they ordered some special bread for me. Rye bread. Ripe. Rye. Ripe. Rye. Ripe. 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 No, no tea. Rye. Serviettes now, please, on the top shelf. Is this 
Hello, do you think that's a serviette? I'll try again. Do you know what a serviette is? I'm thinking you don't. They should be in there. White ones, top shelf. White, same as the tablecloths. Okay, that square. We have all the 20 staff, yeah. and uh, some of them, their English levels are, are, are better than others. But you know, Amos is, is such a terrific guy, and he said um, on camera, you know, that he's happy to be in our country, and he said that everything is possible under this guy. And I was so touched, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice thing for somebody to say, until I realised what he said was, everything is possible under this guy. <laughs> So then I went, I went to kill him again. Yeah. Oh, now, I love the fact that you live in a caravan in I do. France with your dog, Fly. I do. It's a really nice caravan. It, it has all the things that I need uh, for everyday life. And I have the most fantastic view of the Lake District. So it has well, everything. If you wanted to travel around a little mm -hmm. bit, we've got something even better. I want you to come over here because this is called the Cutie Van. I want to show it to you. Here we are. If you stand over there, I'll open the door. Ta-da! This caravan is the width of an armchair. Mm -hmm. It has a television, tea, coffee, biscuit uh, facilities, uh, a, a decanter full of cherry brandy, a DAB radio. It will do up to five or six miles an hour, I think. Television aerial on the top, you see. Mm -hmm. And it's built, it's wide enough to get through doors, to go up shopping aisles, and to go along the pavement. So for those people who have either a very small Land Rover, like this, <laughs> or maybe one of those wonderful scooters, you know, people mm -hmm. go around those scooter mm -hmm. mobility things, mm -hmm. be perfect for you. So we thought you might like that. I'd love this. Would you? It's not quite the Winnie Bago I was hoping for, but <laughs> I think it'll... Uh... This is a mini Bago. <laughs> Do you want to jump in? Just try it. Sure, and, and the dog will go... Well, uh, he'll be driving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's that? Well, when the caravans are rocking, don't come down. Oh! You must catch this programme, it's going to be absolutely huge. It's the hotel, it's on Channel 4, Sundays, 8 o'clock, and Wayne's and stuff. Thank, Thank you very much, much indeed. Now, thanks to the